with three important players, Matteo Berrettini, Daniel Medvedev, and Alexander Zverev withdrawing from the Wimbledon tournament, Stefanos Tsitsipas and Nick Kyrgios are the most favorite players to challenge Novak and Nadal. But what about the match between these two? It would be amazing, right? We've already seen them facing each other on the 15th of June at the Wimbledon event. The match was won by Nick Kyrgios. But now, we're going to see them both in another match. In this video, we'll talk about what Stefanos Tsitsipas thinks about facing Nick Kyrgios. We will also discuss the recent performance of both players. But before we move forward, make sure you've subscribed to our channel. Stefanos Tsitsipas won his match against Jordan Thompson in the Wimbledon tournament 2022. Now he holds an 8-2 record on the surface of the 2022 season. Previously, he's only won 8 tour-level matches on grass before 2022. So this is a great improvement for him. He has captured tour-leading 42 wins this season and is all set to face Nick Kyrgios. The six-time tour titleist Kyrgios has downed Filip Krzyzinovic in straight sets in the match played on June 30th. Now, Kyrgios holds a 3-1 lead over Stefanos Tsitsipas. On the other hand, Stefanos Tsitsipas has talked about how he feels about facing Nick Kyrgios again in the match happening on Saturday, July 2nd. He said, I feel there isn't a single person here who doesn't know Nick. We've played each other and had great matches against each other in many tour-level matches. I have great respect for his game and that he can utilize his talents. Fight when he wants to. It's going to be a challenging one on the grass. He's a big opponent on this surface. So, you must be wondering what the expectations from Stefanos to Sissipas for this match against Chris Kyrgios are. Well, if we look at the performance from his last match with Jordan Thompson, then we can say that he can show off quite a game. Tsitsipas has been giving outstanding performance in his recent matches at the Wimbledon Grass Court Tournament. In his match with Thompson, he gained the victory. Under the roof on court one, Stefanos Tsitsipas quickly gained control over the match. He demonstrated great footwork to dictate his forehand. The Greek was strong off the wing the entire game, and he showed great touch at times up at the net to outsmart Thompson. Tsitsipas remains patient in the third set after a commanding first two sets gaining the decisive break in the game to seal the victory. The last match between Nick Kyrgios and Stefanos Tsitsipas was played on the 15th of June. In this match, Nick Kyrgios toppled Stefanos Tsitsipas. In this match, Nick Kyrgios was given a warning for taking too long to return Stefanos Tsitsipas's serve while leading a 2-0 in the second set. After the match, he admitted that he was playing slow, although he is one of the fastest. The reason why Nick Kyrgios was serving slow deliveries was the sweat. It's difficult to play at 30 degrees Celsius and keep hands dry. That can be an actual reason, right? Well, let's move towards the other player, Nick Kyrgios. He said about himself that he's been playing good tennis. He defeated Filip Krijanovic on June 30th and made a flawless entry into the third round. If he continues to reproduce such performance regularly, that would make him a world beater. The performance of Kyrgios against Filip Krijanovic was his best. He was blitzing an opponent who's had his most consistent year to date. The 27-year-old did not drop a single point on serve in his first set, never lost concentration, and some of his shot-making was borderline absurd. After the match, he said in an interview, I've been playing some really good tennis over the last month, so I was really surprised with the way I played the other day, as the Kyrgios versus Filip Krijanovic. I wasn't great. There was a lot of positives, although. I didn't play anywhere near my best and I got through it. Today, I was in my zone. Great body language. I just played well. Then he confidently talked about himself. I just wanted to remind everyone that I'm pretty good. Honestly, if he continues to play like this in the next round, even against someone as good as fourth seed Stefanos Tsitsipas, he will be very difficult to stop. When asked about his next opponent, Tsitsipas, he said, I'm delighted. We're two of the sport's biggest names. It should be an amazing match to watch if we both bring our best tennis. So this was all from the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Who will win the match, Nick or Tsitsipas? Also, share the possible reasons for your guess. See you again with another video.